As the late great Vinnie Paul used to say, one, two, barbecue. Today on the channel from the Cobra Island Target exclusive line, we've got G.I. Joe classified barbecue. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another G.I. Joe Classified unboxing and review. And I always have a little extra pep in my step when I have a new G.I. Joe Classified figure to unbox. As you guys know, I love G.I. Joe back from the start. I was a big, big G.I. Joe man in the 80s, still a big G.I. Joe man today. And it's always fun to get a classic like barbecue on the store shelves at Target right now. It is a Cobra Island Target exclusive. But for all your other G.I. Joe needs that aren't Target exclusives, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. And like I said, Barbecue, a very famous G.I. Joe, one many a kid of the 80s had at one time, and a staple in the G.I. Joe animated series back in the day as well. So Barbecue fits a lot of uh, different passions of G.I. Joe collectors throughout the years. I will say it was interesting to get G.I. Joe Classified Barbecue in the Cobra Island exclusive. I don't know if you think of, I don't know what you think of when you think Cobra Island, I guess, but Barbecue feels like one that should have been in the traditional line and not an exclusive to me. I, I don't know, it just feels weird. And this very possibly will be the final G.I. Joe Classified Cobra Island exclusive figure. As we know, 2022, we turn our attention to Tiger Force versus Python Patrol, and I know some people are grumbling about that, but man, Tiger Force was my favorite G.I. Joe subline ever, led by the uh, charismatic enigma of the G.I. Joe universe. Not Jeff Hardy, we're talking about my boy Flint, so I'm excited for that in the future. I have seen early pictures, so I did get this. I guess I should say I got this through the mail via Target. I pre-ordered this way back, was it July maybe we pre-ordered this and Breaker? came through the mail and away it went very easily uh, done but I have seen some early store reports uh, Kansas City area I'm part of a lot of different groups of the areas I travel uh, Kansas City had a bunch of these on the store pegs and I got to think in the next two weeks you're gonna see him if you missed out on the pre-order and didn't get him you will start seeing him on store pegs don't pay those scalper prices uh, not yet at least we saw major blood if you couldn't get a major blood uh, at your store, I don't know. I probably saw 50 Major Bloods before it was all said and done. Just a couple weeks ago, I still saw a Major Blood. Barbecue, I think, will be very similar. So uh, hang tight. If you can't find a barbecue in store after a couple of weeks, maybe then you go to the Ebays of the world. But I think he will be out there. His pre-order window was up at Target for a very long time, probably the longest of any Joe figure ever. Uh, so I don't think it'll be hard to find him. But I am welcoming him to the classified line, welcoming him to my collection. Uh, and I'm on the search for a mint on box, mint on card one uh, for the future. But we're going to do this review like we do all the G.I. Joe reviews or any other review on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there. Let's take a look at barbecue number 32 in the G.I. Joe classified line right there. Beautiful glamour shot of barbecue down there. Got the old G.I. Joe logo. There's the old Cobra Island logo that many people detest out there. Uh, big window box, all kinds of accessories. I assume they'll all be able to be stored on barbecue like we've seen with the G.I. Joe figures over the years. You got the warning up there. You got the light to let him in. And like I said, number 32 in the Joe line right there. It looks like 35, but it is 32. Playing tricks with me is what this is. It's playing tricks. 32. 32. Not 35, 32. Uh, but you got barbecue, that same glamour shot kind of going on on the side there. Beautiful artwork. I wish these all pieced together as kind of a poster like the Star Wars Black series. On the side, you can go online and you can uh, translate and figure out what all these things are. Not for me. I don't like to do it. I want the old school blurb. It's not that hard. Anyways, and then on the back, you got warnings. You got the Cobra Island logo. And then there is Cobra Island. A lot going on on that island. I believe you can buy some prints of these uh, hopefully soon on Hasbro Pulse if you're into those kind of things. I just think there's a big wasted opportunity on this back. You're not promoting any of the other figures. Uh, just not a lot going on. At least a file card, something. I say it all the time in these reviews. And I don't see anything really that special on the back on the Cobra Island. Just kind of is what it is. I'm, and I'm kind of okay with Cobra Island coming to a close. As you guys know, uh, it's over. Cobra Island's no more. Like I said, Tiger Force is coming. Bring on the Tiger Force. See you later. Slide him out of the bottom, just like so. Interesting background here. It's very cool. Love that blue. It really does pop against the red lettering of the Cobra Island, but there it is. See you later. Up high, over the top. All right, plastic prison time for old barbecue. There he is. 
Got his axes, got his backpack, very red and gray. Just definitely looks like the old school barbecue we got back in the day. One gripe I have here, and maybe you got the same gripe as I do, and I feel bad for Barbecue over the years. All of his figures, he's never came with a second head. And we remember him in the animated series, you know, he, he had his helmet off the majority of the time. So I think this would have been the prime opportunity to give us a regular head for Barbecue. I feel like that was a missed opportunity. Uh, it's just always covered up Barbecue. So interesting out there. I know some people used him as a firefighter. Some people used him in different roles as a kid in the playing days. Uh, but it was always cool to have G.I. Joe's resident firefighter. I was I always had him at Blowtorch, like, not get along a little bit. He was always trying to put out Blowtorch's fires. Uh, but Barbecue, like I've said before, very famous character. Most G.I. Joe fans of the 80s remember Barbecue. Just kind of sad we didn't get a extra head of Barbecue here. Let's pull him out. Let's pull all these weapons. I'm glad he does have one gun here, too. I was a little worried about that, but he does have a gun. There it is. There it is. There it is. Plastic prison. See you later. Get out of here. All right, let's dig in first here. So we got barbecue. We got his backpack. Traditional G.I. Joe backpack. Pegs in the back, of course. Red at the top, black at the bottom. Very uh, fireman-esque. Has those fireman warnings on the back. Just a lot of detail here, but very cool. And it, it's an homage to the old barbecue figure with his backpack as well. Let's see what do we got going on here. So we got this piping. Okay, here we go. So then he's got his black gun. Uh, and it's not traditionally a gun. I believe this is uh, one of those things that it's just like a fire extinguisher. It shoots like foam out and stuff. You know, I've never fired off a fire extinguisher in my life. I wouldn't mind doing that to see what it's like. To see what it's like. Uh, but it does have that. It's got the hose back here. And then it connects to the back of the backpack. So that makes sense. And that's a nod to the old school one. Blowtorch was the same way. Had that as well. Uh, but you pick this in and you just uh, plug it in. So it plugs in, fits together perfectly there. And then we got two different axes. And axes always seemed, as a kid, I remember thinking, what's a fireman have an axe for? They just, you know, spray water and stuff. But then I guess as you get older, you understand firemen a little bit more. Hey, they have axes to knock down walls and stuff like that. They have to have this kind of stuff. Uh, so it's cool to get a nice axe with barbecue, just like in the past. You got a nice grip handle on it. The silver accent on the blade really sets this off. I'm glad they did that. It would look funny if it was like the old school one, just plain. Uh, but it's got the nice silver accents going on here. Same thing with this one, a minier one. And then it's got like a, a knuckle duster on the end here, which is even cooler. So he can use this as a weapon with his handle or use the axe, just a smaller version of that. So some really solid accessories here with barbecue. But then we get into the figure. And I should say too, uh, the axes can go in the side. Like we see with the Joe line, everything can be stored in the backpack, stored on the figures. I think that is absolutely tremendous that all the weapons and accessories can be stored on the figure. You don't have to have baggies, separate stuff, losing accessories, mixing accessories. You don't have to have that problem with the Joe line. They all store on here. So barbecue continues that trend, which we love. Then you get to this barbecue figure and it's fabulous. This is barbecue brought up to six inch scale. Just beautiful. It's got his head, helmeted head, very mechanical looking, the silver accents on the mouth, the goggles through there, just screams barbecue from back in the day. So I'm here for that all day long. Then he gets down to the shoulder pieces and the protective kind of vest he's got going on. Uh, you got the air canister, I believe that's what that is. Nice little green, giving a little point of difference of a different color so it does catch your eye here. He's got his utility belt going on there. Just a lot going on with this barbecue at the top vision. He's got pockets on there. None of these open up, but it just goes to the figure with all the accessories. He's ready to go. He's ready to fight fires, you name it. He's ready to throw down at a moment's notice. He does have an armband over here with a silver logo. I'm not sure what that logo actually is. Uh, but it is cool. He is double jointed at the elbows, double jointed at the knees. He's got the articulation. You can drop the hips down. I'm not a huge fan of the drop down hips on these G.I. Joe figures, uh, but it is what it is. We've had him in all of them. Uh, the wrists rotate, move around, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the typical articulation, the bicep swivel, the thigh swivel, like I said, double jointed knees. You got boot swivel. You got ankles side to side, rockers up and down. Tons of articulation with these Joes. So you can get them in all kinds of different uh, setups that you want to do out there, but very solid. A nice kind of a burnt orange, orangish red. I guess it's a little more red, but it does feel the more you look at it, a little bit more orange. On the vest is a little darker red. So just it's very seems like it's one color, but then you start looking at it, it just really has some depths of color going on with this uh, barbecue here. So I do like that a whole lot. 
just very, very solid. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? I say it all the time. Spend your money on your figures, not your stands. Ringsidecollectibles.com. Use discount code Kyle. Save 10%. He fits like a glove as well. So he'll fit perfectly on those. He does, around his thighs here, has some holders going on. So once again, you can store these any which way you want. You can put them on the side. I don't know if you'd want to really store your axe right here. You'd probably cut yourself, but he you can store on the sides there. Uh, you can store right there. And then, of course, right here as well. I think there's different ways you can store it. You can go through the handle. You can go through this the side. But there you go. You can put those on the side. So everything stores on here. It's just classic. Classic. I like it a whole lot. Uh, nothing worse than having baggies of accessories and getting accessories mixed up out there. Uh, and you're not going to have that problem with this barbecue because everything stores there. But, man, uh, one of the best G.I. Joe figures in a long time, this barbecue. Just nods to the pastor here with the future technologies this is what i want out of the gi joe classified line and what we've seen from the reveals of hasbro pulse con the last few weeks out there that's what they're giving us they've listened to the fans and i'm seeing on message boards and stuff there was a lot of people groaning and fighting about the gi joe the distribution and we've talked about that a ton there was reasons for that gi joe has been a troubled brand for a long time but uh the overwhelming success and positive feedback of people wanting their joes now we're seeing that you can go to almost any target in america right now at least the eight states i travel you can find flint you can find lady j you can find cobra commander uh you can find these characters we talked about some of the cobra island figures being in heavier heck i've been in stores you see my figure hunt videos breaker in the ram cycle out in heavy numbers he was down to like 20 some bucks for a while you can find these they're making them accessible and i think after hasbro pulse con a lot of people that swore off the joes are now back in pretty heavily uh with the lineup we got coming and some of the stuff we've seen in the past they are jumping on board and there's a lot of joe love going on right now we talked about super seven coming to the market with gi joe figures based on the cartoon you got that walmart retro line which i think is coming to an end but i don't know if we've heard that uh, 100% yet. And now the O-Ring Joes of the 80s are getting updated and released back with the Sky Striker as the HasLab. So G.I. Joe Mania running wild. How many lines can you collect? I guess you got to answer yourself that question out there. Of course, we got Flint here, the main man, the leader of G.I. Joe. You'll never change my mind. The true leader of G.I. Joe. My all-time favorite, uh, possibly my all-time favorite 80s character, not just G.I. Joe, but 80s character in general, was Flint. So getting Flint and barbecue side by side here, things dreams are made of if you ask you know, little kyle or you ask uh, old kyle he loves him some joes so what about you guys did you get barbecue has it came through the door for you yet you playing the long game waiting to find him on the store shelves either way i don't think you'll have trouble getting this and that's the way it should be so i love it i'm all here for it but let me know with your comments down below make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe to the channel follow me on social media sir paul 64 on twitter instagram the underscore kyle underscore peterson and of course ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson. So for barbecue, and my boy Flint too, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.